Korea's rival parties continue to wrangle over reforms to the country's labor market. The ruling Haenuri party vowed to make headway, while the opposition resisted criticizing the government's labor reform drive as flawed. Our Kim young has more. The ruling Haenuri party vowed to push ahead with a set of proposals to reform the country's labor market, which is President Park Geun-hye's stated priority for the second half of the year. Labor reform is a must in order to revive the economy and create jobs for young people. Our party, the government and the presidential office will cooperate on administrative procedures to revise employment rules and contracts. We hope to make the process more transparent by getting help from experts. The ruling bloc last week submitted proposed revisions to five labor laws that aim to ease the requirements for laying off underperforming workers, establish a wage peak system that gradually cuts senior workers' wages, extend the employment period of temporary workers from two years to four, and expand the coverage for accidents that happen during a worker's commute. The main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy has major objections to the proposed reforms, which the party says will only hinder efforts to create stable jobs. Making it easier to dismiss underperforming workers, cutting wages, expanding the employment period of temporary workers, these are the labor reforms President Park Geun-hye and the ruling party are focusing on. The five bills the Senate party submitted on restructuring the labor market are flawed. The opposition bloc also reiterated that it is against any move by the ruling party, which has a majority in parliament, to unilaterally enact the labor reform bills. The MPD is calling for a separate parliamentary committee to handle labor reform policy and generate more discussion among various interest groups. The Senuri party, however, contends there has been enough discussion and is urging the MPD to pass the bills. Chimyeonggil. I did on news.